Hey everyone, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we will talk about, how to render your animation in After Effects. So let's get started. Open your After Effects project, which you want to be rendered. For this tutorial, I am going to render my Shine logo animation project. Before rendering, make sure you are in the main composition which you want to be rendered, not any other composition. It will render the same comp which you have opened in the timeline. Now, go to the composition, and here you will see these two options for rendering. You can render using Adobe Media Encoder, or even inside the After Effects. The benefit of using Adobe Media Encoder is that, you can work on another project in After Effects, at the same time of rendering. But this process will slow down your rendering, so I prefer to render it using After Effects itself. Click on Lossless, and then you will see this window. Click on the Format option, and here you can choose any format you want, such as PNG sequence, Photoshop sequence, or even TIFF sequence but I will stick to the quick time for now. If you don't see this quick time format here, you can download it for free from the Apple website. First and last Apple product which is free and useful. Now click on format options. And then click on the video codec. Here you will find, a bunch of codecs for your video format. I prefer to use photo JPEG, it gives an average file size but produce a high quality image. You can always take control of the quality and size of the output video. Lower the quality, lower the size will be. If you have audio in the project, then you can turn on the audio output on or off. It's all your choice. And then hit OK. Now click on this output to option, to set the destination and the name of your output video. Now the final step is just to hit this render button. And your video will be start rendering. Please note, rendering time depends upon your project type, and computer configuration. If you play this video you'll find the size and quality are acceptable for uploading on YouTube and other platforms. Perfect. The quality is good, and the size is only 20 megabytes. Now we will render a transparent background video. Now, what if you don't have any background in your project, and you want to render your video on a transparent background? Yes you can do this easily, follow my steps carefully. Again, go to the composition, and select add to render queue. Click on lossless and change format to quick time. Now click on format options, and in the video codec, select PNG. Because PNG supports transparency, let's turn on the quality for some better result, and then hit OK. And the important part. Make sure to select RGB plus alpha in channels. Alpha is used for transparency, and RGB is for colors. Cool. Let's change the file name to remember it easily. I will call the Shine logo animation no background. Hit the render key and it will start rendering. One thing I noticed. If you turn on the caps lock key, you will turn off the live preview of the animation, and it will increase the render speed a little bit. Now, we have our animation on a transparent background. You can place it on any background you want. Now, next tip is, how I render my After Effects project. Let's turn on these background images for the final output. Press Ctrl plus M to add to the render queue. Again, click on the lossless, and select the quick time format. Now, click on the format option, and change video codec to photo JPEG. 
I always set quality to 100%, so that, at the time of editing, where I add sound effects and color correct my footage, my file will not be more compressed. It gives me large size file, but produce better quality than MP4 format. Let's play our video and see how it is looking. Perfect. This looks good to me. Here is a quick tip to increase the rendering speed of your project. Go to the edit, and in the preferences, select memory and multiprocessing. It will open up this window. Please note, I have 16 GB RAM installed on my computer, and I have reserved 13 GB for the Adobe applications, such as Photoshop, Premiere Pro and After Effects. For other apps, I have reserved only 3 GB RAM. Now, if your process supports multiprocessing, then this option will be available for you. If you check this render multiple frames simultaneously, After Effects will render multiple frames at once, it will increase the speed of rendering. Also, I am only using it for rendering, not for RAM preview purpose. Just to keep my processor cool. I have also reserved one CPU for other apps. In short, I am giving full power to the Adobe applications, as compared to other system apps. But make sure, reserve at least one CPU for other applications, so that your system won't crash at the time of rendering. I am also using the maximum size of RAM for all the CPU, so they are fully prepared to render my heavy project. Please note, these options will not be available if your processor does not have the multiprocessing. So this is all for today's video. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Have a good day.